I'm Marcel Fischer and I was in Sandward with PHM Racing for ADAC Formula 4. But first, let's start with the track walk at Thursday. Now I'm standing here at the top of turn number 3 and as you can see behind me, it's so steep. In my opinion, in TV, you can't really see the steepness of this corner. But if you really stand here in real life, it's so fucking steep. I continuing my lap around the circuit and also here after turn number three, it's so up and down, it's really like a roller coaster out here. Oh my god guys, it's so hot out here, here in Sandward. We have about 30 degrees Celsius and I'm right now here at the second DRS straight at the circuit, so just after turn number 10. From here you can see actually the exit of turn number 3 and turn 4. I don't know how hot a track is, we can take a look. Whew, that's quite hot the circuit. So yeah, I would suggest maybe about 50 degrees or more because I can't put my hand down more than about three seconds then it's way too hot the final corner here in Sanford the bank corner as you can see it's pretty downhill here where I am I'm right here at the outside of the corner and here's the safer barrier and yeah it's so fucking steep here as you can see Ooh. So yeah, really awesome that I have the opportunity to walk around the track. Thank you very much again to PHM Racing. Their socials are down in the description. Check them out. It's really awesome for the opportunity that I have here this weekend in Sanford. With the track walk complete, let's jump straight into Friday, which is practice day for Formula 4, with the first session in the morning and the second practice session in the afternoon. The three drivers for this Friday practice day for PHM Racing, Taylor Barnard, Nikita Bertrin and Valentin Klus are ready, sitting in their cars and waiting to go out on track for the first time this weekend here in Sandport. As you can see, first practice is underway and I spent the first session at the pit wall with the team in the pit lane. And yeah, thank you very much again to PHM Racing. It was such an incredible experience down there together with the team coming from sim racing and now getting a closer look behind the scenes with a real race team. It was incredible. Thank you very much. After a few laps, the drivers came back into the pit lane giving their feedback or getting feedback from the engineers what they can do better. They did also little tweaks to the front and rear wing to get a better balance in the car. And then they headed out again to get more laps under the belt. And directly after FP1, the drivers went to the debrief. The mechanics made all the necessary checks to the car and prepared them again for FP2. And then it was again time for FP2 and this time I spent it out at the track at turn number three and as you know this turn at Sandford is really really special with its banking so it was really interesting to see the different lines the drivers take through the corner with this banking usually you use a higher line but then some also practice a little lower line maybe you can do something there in the race the drivers really pushing the outside line to get maximum speed through the corner but you have to be careful there with track limits and now you get more shots from fp2 
So second practice for Formula 4 here in Sanford at this Friday is just over as you saw before. So I hope you can hear me when they start driving around now. I'm here between sector 1 and the end of sector 2. I hope you can hear me now. It was quite a good day for PHM Racing. First practice session. They were P1 now in P3 and P4. Tomorrow morning they will be qualifying and then after that in the afternoon they will be the first. It's Saturday morning, which means it's time for qualifying for the first and second race. And Jonas Reed now joined the team. He only came to the circuit on Saturday. So qualifying is his first ever session around this track. And then just before qualifying should start, it started to rain and then also quite heavily. So the mechanics put wet tires onto the cars. And these conditions aren't really that easy, especially for Jonas who hasn't driven at this track before. He has to get used to this track in these conditions. Definitely not easy. All of our drivers gave their best and pushed to the limit. And then later on it was dry again, so they put slicks back on the cars. We are now here in the grid for Formula 4 race number one at this Saturday. Nikita starting from P8, Taylor from P9, Valentin from P11 and Jonas from P16. So let's see what they can do from there. One of Formula 4 is underway. I'm here at the inside of turn number one. Unfortunately, Jonas is already out after the first lap of the race and we have a safety car. Restart is at this lap. Let's see how the restart is. Valentin had an excellent start and our cars from PHM Racing running currently P8, 9 and 10. So let's push for more points. Peter and Taylor fighting there at the exit of turn number one and as I told you before there are different lights available as Nikita makes a move against this Iron Dems car into turn three and he made a move stick awesome and from my spot at turn three I could also watch the race at the third sector and just one lap later Nikita made another pass into turn three against this Van Amersfoort racing car he's really on a roll Nikita already made his way up to P5, just behind the four grammar cars, so like best of the rest, there you saw him. Taylor right behind him in P6 and Valentin currently running at P11. So Nikita is now really pressuring, as you can see, making a move into P4. Awesome! Nikita up to P4, first place and he's beyond the podium! A few minutes left, let's go! So yeah, race one is over. Nikita finished in P4, he made some excellent moves into turn number three. Taylor finished in P6. Valentin and P11, so quite a good race. All made a step forward from qualifying, so very good. So now I'm here with Nikita after race one. He made his way from P8 all the way up to P4 with some lovely passes into turn three, as you saw already. So how was the race from your perspective? Yeah, it was a good race. Um, good overtakes, I enjoyed the race. The car felt very good. I think we improved from qualifying. And uh, also I think I'm good with the tires management. 
so uh, there are high hopes for tomorrow as well, but in general I'm happy with the result and the things are done. Yeah, and it was so close to the podium. I yeah. think one or two laps more and you could have been on the podium. So that's the goal for tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nice it is. Job. Thank you. Thank you. Sunday morning, time for race number two and the drivers do their warm-ups and it's really really fun. I joined their warm-up for race three as well and I can tell you it's really fun throwing some balls and so on and so on right next to the racetrack. Thank you for having me there. start of race number two Taylor tries to overtake one of the five scrambers in front around the outside at turn three didn't work there later on he had to defend to his teammate at the main straight Nikita and one lap later they were fighting into turn three with Taylor just in front later we had a safety car Taylor and Nikita running right behind the five Prema cars Valentin a few positions behind them and also Jonas made up some positions in this race In the end, Nikita finished race 2 in P5 with Taylor in P6 right behind him. Jonas finished P14 and unfortunately Valentin retired from this race. And that's the view that you have from the inside of an Formula 4 car. And just after the race, the mechanics made sure the cars are ready for race 3 in the afternoon. We are now here in the grid for race number three. Taylor starting from P3, Nikita starting from P4. So the chances for the podium are really, really good. Let's see how good the Premas are. And now let's push for the podium. So third race for Formula 4 is over, Taylor and Nikita were running both in the podium positions for quite a long time, P2 and P3 for Nikita, but yeah unfortunately in the end they finished P4 and P7, all in all quite a good race. And now we are already at the end of this video about my first real racing experience with a real race team PHM Racing competing in ADAC Formula and the Italian Formula 4 season. Thank you so much for having me there this weekend. It was an incredible experience for me coming from sim racing, loving motorsport and now getting an experience behind the scenes with a real race team. Thank you very much. Please also check out their Instagram phm.racing and youtube phm racing all links are also down in the description they are such a nice team all members all mechanics all engineers all drivers and then also a big shout out to mark who organized this whole thing for me and made sure that i can be there this weekend together with the team and now if you enjoyed this video please leave a like consider subscribing and then i will see you soon